Hello my guidians, this is GamerGuy7 Aces and today I'm going way back to my roots. I'm going back to my solo LP roots and I'm playing uh, one of an old time favorite game of mine when I was uh, growing up. This is The Hobbit. Came on the Game Boy Advance widescreen, or the Game Boy Advance in general, but I first got this on the widescreen back then. So um, yeah, I'm excited to play this. Let us get started. Alright, first let me tweak the volumes here a little bit right there. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright, let's call myself, uh, well, I am a gamer guy, so let's do that. You know, I, I, I first got this game back when it came out in 2003 in December, and that was my first handheld game ever. So, I mean, I remember I played this, like, it looked, it appealed to me because it looked like a, uh, uh, like, like, like a Zelda game. Ah, oh, crap, I don't even know how to spell my name. Alright. So, um, yeah. So I really enjoyed this game, you know, when it first came out. Like, it was just awesome. I, I loved it. I loved every minute of it, you know. I, I just loved every minute. I, I like playing it. Okay, I shouldn't press anything. Alright, here's Gandalf the Grey. Alright. Good morning. Do you mean it's a good morning whether I like it or not? Excuse me, guys. I'm not really good at imitating uh, Gandalf's voice, so just here. Or that you feel good this morning, or that it is a good morning to be good on. All of them at once. I'm looking for someone to share an adventure. I'm just talking my normal voice. Adventures, nasty and comfortable things. They make a hobbit late for dinner. Good morning. Now, you mean the morning won't be good until I leave? Not at all, mister, or I don't know your name. You don't. You do know my name, Bilbo Baggins. I'm Gandalf. Wait, something got skipped. Oh, well. And this adventure will be very profitable for you, if you survive it. Gandalf the wizard? No adventures today. Good morning. Er, but please come back for tea. Uh, why did I invite a wizard to tea? I told Grocko Proudfoot I'd meet him at one at the Green Dragon Inn in one hour. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, I used to love playing this game. It, it reminds me of Zelda and all those great games. Like, yeah. This was my first handheld ever, like I said before. And, uh, like, I'm, I'm playing this, like, I, I looked all over YouTube, there's not that many LPs of this game at all, really. They, they go back like years ago, so. And since The Hobbit, the movie The Hobbit Unexpected Journey, directed by Peter Jackson, who did The Lord of the Rings, it's coming out in next month, by December 14th. So I was like, wow, they did, like, like, there's no better time to play this game than now. By the way, guys, I just got a meet, and I'm and, and I, I don't know how many of you guys are, are familiar with this game because I don't know how popular this was when it came out, but I loved it. And um, this was the Game Boy Advance, so of course it's not as great as the console, but the console has some awesome music. You know, like just go to YouTube and type "The Hobbit" uh, 2003 soundtrack. The the music is awesome. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I think I'm gonna play a track here because I'm tired of the Game Boy Advance music. All right, cue in the console music now. So he to, to go on and get out of here to get my stuff. Alright, here's the medicine for Grandmother Boffin. While I'm at it, let's open as many chests as you can. But this one is locked, so... Oh crap, I wasted my, uh... I wasted my, my satchel. My, my firecrackers. Alright, thank you, young fellow. In the chest in the kitchen, you'll find a little something for your trouble. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game, guys, so... But I'm doing this live. I, I haven't played a live game since Sonic EXE, really. Find a bag of tokens. But, you know, this is not like Mario, so I won't be failing a lot here. You know, <laughs> I'm starting to feel better, Mr. Baggins. So I know a lot of you guys who are watching this, watching my channel, have never played this game before. But you should pick it up. I mean, I don't know if it's still around, because it's pretty old. It's pretty much an old game. Oh, uh, that's, uh... Listen here, young Baggins, you just need to press R to sneak. Yeah, 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 I know how to do that. Let's go up here. This door. Yeah, the, the beginning may seem a little bit boring, because you're talking to a lot of people. Look what I found, Mr. Baggins. What? That old hag just hurt me. 
That really hurts. Eating food helps me recover when I'm hurt. Here's some food. Alright, so look, we got her already. Look at our uh, health meter. We're 25 to 30. So you go to the satchel, you eat some food. There, see, now you're back to 30. Oh, yeah. You'll, you'll be needing that a lot. Okay. I'm, I'm just not getting used to the controls here. Alright, let's sneak past this dog. Alright, first time, I'm gonna hear what this lady says. She said, I, I just like talking about my teeth have gone with the hair on my toes, but at least I still have my mind. Razor sharp too. That's a good thing, because I've seen things in my time that would make your toes curl, young fella. Ugh, I don't even want to know. <laughs> so you guys know this is the prelude to the Lord of the Rings, so everything I had this is Bilbo before the ring even came to existence. Or before he found the ring. Young man, can you help me with this card? The wheels are stuck in the mud and my meal broke loose. Alright. Obviously you can't talk to your meal because that's an animal. By the way, do not venture far from here, you will drown. Yeah. Thank you for pushing my car out of the mud. Here's a little something for trouble. Food as usual. You're so nice helping old woman. Yeah, so let's just help everybody. I remember when, when, when I was uh, visiting my cousin's house. This was back in like 2004. And like, this game was so cool back then because I was just happy playing with my uh, Game Boy Advance widescreen at the time before I had a uh, SP. So I gave this to him and he played and he was like, this game is boring, because I was like, why? Because he said he likes fighting games. Like, this game takes patience, but it's just like, it, it gets exciting as you continue playing. Oh yeah, you can pick up jars, collect food. Oh crap, I need to talk to the person. These little jars are cluttered up in my yard for too long. Could you get rid of them? You can keep anything you find inside of them. But yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> I remember this game so I used to play this so many times. Many things have for food. Thanks. You must come to tea sometime. Nope, I'll never come to tea. It's not going on an adventure, adventure time. Nope, there's nothing here. Hmm. Let, let's see if there's any tokens here. I doubt it. Oh, yeah, tokens. If you get 50 tokens, like... Wait, uh, what am I doing? If you... Dang it, come on now. If you get 50 tokens, like right now I have to 27, you automatically get a new life. So that's nice. Alright, let's go in here. This is the Dragon Inn. H H Hello, Bilbo. Welcome to the Green Dragon Inn. Let's talk to some people. I saw some doors come through here saying they were heading for your home. How odd. I better go home right away. Yes, but not without talking to some people. Hmm, seed cakes. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like some of their dialogues are really ridiculous. Uh, you have to play the console. It's more interesting than hearing them talk than reading them here. Let's talk to these chillins. How old must I be to use fireworks? Old enough. Bilbo's like 50 something. I have seed cakes for breakfast. It was kind of tea. Aren't you the same guy? Creep. Getting out of here. He followed me all the way to the dragon inn. Alright, now we have to head all the way back to our house. And we're in the shy right now. So, so basically, they just make you explore and get used to the controls and everything. Okay, let's go back here. All right, ding dong, ling dang. That must be Gandalf for tea. Don't let your service. Bill, back is it yours? But oh yeah, th these are when the twelve doors introduce themselves. Ah, they have begun to arrive already. Falling at your service. They? I wonder how the movie version is going to be. Keely at your service. I used to call him Keely and Feely. <laughs> Feely at your service. At yours and your families, but what? Ah, uh, the others are here. Let us join the throng. Alright, there's three more there. Oh, right, there's four more doors. Dory, your service, and now there's Nori, Ori, Glowing, and Oin. Their names are so, like, hilarious. I don't take their names so seriously. And it's Gandalf. Let me introduce Biffer, Bofer, Bomber, especially Thorin. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the movie because I thought Thorin was going to have gray hair, and, and I... Okay, look, you're, go, you're going to see him. The Biffer has Bofer, Bomber. And here's... Uh, this is how I thought... Uh, what's his name? Uh, not Thor. Now that everyone is here, we can begin our dark business. I hope I didn't call him Thor. <laughs> Merry gathering, I hope you have plenty to eat and drink. I, I suppose you will all stay to supper? Of course, and long after we have much to discuss. The doors told Bilbo how the dragon's mob invaded their home in Lonely Mountain and stole their treasure. They wanted to hire burglars to steal it back. 
again lost life to Bilbo. That night, Bilbo dreamed of dragons and adventure. He woke to a house empty of doors and full of dirty dishes. What if Willie died the doors left without Burger Bilbo? And yet I feel a little disappointed. Okay, let's get out of here and start our adventure. This is empty. I'll write this in my journal. Yes. Always save your progress. Now let's get out of here, please, and start our adventure. Now, <laughs> my dear fellow, not gone yet. The doors are already at the Green Dragon and we have better run. But no time for it. But no time for that either. Off we go. Gandalf, you ass. <laughs> Trying to send a hobbit to a dangerous adventure. Oh, let's, let's sneak through this dog. Alright. I'm gonna get the adventure in with the first part. I don't wanna, you know, like, stop right here. Alright. See, Gandalf, he's a wizard. He can appear places. Problem is, Baggins, but in your haste, you forgot your walking stick. No time to go back here. Take this walking stick. He still has not given his name. Alright guys, okay, finally.